Okay, this is Jamie from Tideline Tech. And if you are trying to configure tax settings in WooCommerce and you've gone through every single walkthrough imaginable and you still haven't found the solution, I just got it for you. And I'm gonna teach you how right now. And honestly, it's probably gonna save you like $1,200 to $5,000 a year. Watch this. Okay, if you've stared at this WooCommerce tax settings page like a hundred times and you still can't find out why you're getting zeros on your tax calculation, you are in the right place right now, I absolutely promise. Where you actually need to be looking is the standard rates tab underneath tax settings and this is blank. Guess what? It needs to be populated because this is where it's going to pull the data to calculate your settings. Now, this requires an import of a CSV file. And for whatever reason, this didn't seem that easy to get a hold of. I actually pulled all of the information from GitHub and then I collated that data and actually exported it as a CSV file. I'm sure that this data is readily available on a US tax website somewhere, but I wasn't exactly sure where to get it. I did double check everything. Now there is a massive spreadsheet. I am going to upload it for you guys. Like I said, it's a CSV file. It's like 46,000 rows. It has intricate tax data for every single county in America. Right now, these are the US standard rates. They were Updated in 2022. I'm not sure how frequently these change. Now, there were plenty of services that offered to do this for me for an extremely hefty fee. The first one quoted me $1,200. The second one quoted me $5,000. Now, I'm sure that they have some other services. And I'm sure that over time, these tax rates might fluctuate, like maybe some different counties, but they're pretty close to accurate and I'm sure if you would pay the hefty price of these other fees for these other services they would give you that information as soon as it's updated but my what my CSV file will definitely get you what you need and just as an example here was some of the quotes that I was receiving for using this data so go ahead, download my CSV, import it, and it's going to give you actual tax calculations. Now, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.